also slightly raised the conversation and had attracted the attention of a number of Death Eaters and Snatchers. We the bastards who had to round up mother ones. We were consequently taken to Malfoy Manor for interrogation. However, Hermione's recommendation for Greyback the werewolf to visit to her dentist parents so as to check his molars for plaque did not go down well. She therefore was tortured the most. Hey, I did manage to kick Draco Malfoy in the nuts. Yes. Regardless, we were rescued by Dobby the house elf. Unfortunately, he died in the struggle. Oh, come on, you two. It could be worse. How? Well, it could be raining. Ow! Ron, I'm extremely aggravated with you. I'm fed up with you. And honestly, I have absolutely no desire to do anything to do with you. Don't you think that's a little bit too harsh, Hermione? And Harry Potter, you are the worst jinx of all. How is it possible that everywhere we go with you, we end up in some sort of disaster? Hermione, he's the chosen one. It's to be expected we're going to face a bit of danger if we're after bits of you-know-who's soul. How about we all go for a drink? Honestly, just go and get drenched. The both of you, I'm going inside to sleep. Goodbye. How, how can your brother be so... Ginger? We're all ginger, I'm afraid. No. No, I mean, one moment is happy-go-lucky and then the next he's... As miserable as assholes. Do you want a hug? <laughs> <laughs> oh, smells like rape. What? What's that noise? Um, it's the kangaroo. What? Uh, uh, nothing. Um, it's <sighs> it's okay. <sighs> nothing matters anymore. Oh, sure it does. Haven't you got plans of somewhere to go next? And remember, you can stay here as long as you like. As long as you're good. If you're bad, you'll have to sit on the naughty pole. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. But I didn't mean to intrude. Well, it's okay. Flo and I don't mind. I'd quite like to know where you're going next, though. Maybe I could get Flo to rustle you up some pat lunches. <laughs> um... Thanks for the offer, but it all depends on whether we can get more help from Griphood and Ollivander. This is actually Mr. Ollivander's room, you know. Is it? I'm so sorry. Oh, oh no, it's okay. He's not up here yet. <coughs> oh. Is it my imagination, or do you keep passing wind? <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's me, I'm afraid. I, I have a little flatulence. It's, it's part of the side effects of being a werewolf. I, I just can't control it. Oh, I think I've got a little turtle's head. Oh. 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 I'm going to poke it back up. Oh. 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 Do you mind if I, if I, if... There you go. Uh, ah, that's it, Mr. Ollivander. Come and have a lie down. Uh, don't worry about the smell. It's, uh, Mr. Ollivander? Mr. Ollivander? No! Uh, Fleur, uh, don't come in here. Phone St. Mungo's. Um, it wasn't my fault. Uh, I know he was an old man, but it was still only vapours. Is he breathing? Airway circulation. No! Oh, I thought so. Hang on, he may. Oh my god, he's dead! You know, Ron, we could have just apparated here. At least we'd be a lot drier. 
Well, I guess it's just symbolic of our hardship, isn't it? Yeah. Only get worse if we end up with a cold. Oh, stop whinging, Harry. Look, we've been chasing you know who for God knows how many months, and there's no prize for coming second. That's what she said. Uh, uh, that's better. Now come on, give us a smile. That's better. Now, what do you want to drink? Ah, feeling a bit generous, are we wrong? Uh, yes I am, as a matter of fact. Really? Shit, are you okay? Are yeah. you sure you don't want to lie down or something? I'm fine. Well, I won't be if you carry on like that. So what brought this on then? I don't know, really. I just kind of figured that things couldn't get much worse. Plus, I've been having a lot of sugar lately. <laughs> look, Ron, I told you that eating those lumps of sugar isn't good for you. Do I look like I can? Look, Harry, I am lanky and ginger. You are short and with glasses. Know which one I'd rather be. Now, hurry up with your choice of order with a drink. All right, if you insist, just get me a pint. You can only stay for one. We need to go back and check on Hermione, see how she's getting on. Nah, uh, she's probably humming a book somewhere. You know what she's like. Look, just stay for the one drink. We both know we can't hold our liquor and uh, we don't want to be caught out after hours with all the dementors swarming around. You know what they say about pubs? Liquor in the front, poker in the rear. Uh, <laughs> that's a good one, Harry. You're on a roll. But don't sing that song. Look, what are we going to have to drink, then? I fancy a good old tot of some of that fire whiskey. Fire whiskey? I don't think they sell that in here, Ron. Actually, I'm surprised we managed to get into this place. I noticed that the sign above the door said no under 21's allowed. Well, I did try some of that uh, ageing potion. It's odd though, it, it's worked in my face, but it seems to have worked a bit backwards in other areas. Anyway, my first muggle drink, what to have? I think I'll go for that one. Jack Daniels? Are you sure, mate? That's whiskey. I mean, that's proper Tennessee whiskey. Jack Daniels. Ah, I guess he won't mind if I have some of it, will he? In that case, I'll have a pint of Carling for me then. And a Jack Dean Coke, please. No, oh, no, no, no. I, I, I don't want Coke, mate. No, oh, no, man. I'll have it straight. It can't be that strong, surely. If you say so. So, how many Horcruxes do we need to get now? Four? Uh, which are. Look, Ron, I don't know, okay? Well, we haven't got rid of a lot, have we? One, to be precise. Precisely. That's why I just said it. <laughs> I cannot believe we got away from the Malfoys unscathed. Well, yeah. I wouldn't say completely unscathed. Yeah, look, I did nick Narcissa's wallet, though. She's got some pretty hot pictures. Have a look at these, mate. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa, Wilf! <laughs> Bloody! Oh, I can see why Draco wouldn't want to be seen in public with her. Whoa! Wait, she can have a look at my wand any time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's going on with you and Hermione, then? No, mate. I mean, she's a cracking girl and all, but I, I just don't think she's interested, you know? And what with all the yelling all the time, I mean, she's completely mental. Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there, mate. But there is something special about her. You know, deep down, I, I really think she might be the one. I, I think I love her, Harry. That, that, that doesn't sound kind of Nancy or anything, does it? Of course it does, mate! <laughs> <laughs> I love her! I think she loves me back! <laughs> it's alright, mate. I'm sure she does, but I think you'll have to get rid of that stubble first. On the other hand, though, I'm oh, bloody glad we've got her. I mean, what a great asset to have. 
Although again, if we do do this again, make sure she comes along with some happy pills or something. What, you mean with his son? You know who too? The return of the snake man. twinkle in his eye, the, the way he used to ravel your hair a bit longer than was necessary or decent. I miss those hands. Dumbledore's hands. Especially the dead one. Me and Forks used to prod it whenever uh, he was asleep. Uh, uh, uh. What what what's this? What's this? What's that? Dead one of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's rubbish. Oh, double door right team. <laughs> 